Stephen, a point here at Fur Park. What were your reflections on the game? Yeah, it's a good point. Um, we, you know, we, we scored from a set play. We've hit the crossbar twice. Um, we had other opportunities in the second half as well to seal the game that we couldn't manage to take. Um, overall, like to come at the Fur Park, they're a good side. They've got big threats in the team with Blair Spittle and, and Burr. Um, we reduced them to, you know, I don't think. Zach had a real save to make of from memory. Um, we're disappointed in the goal. We're, you know, we it's a, a long cross into the box that we've got five v two in, um, and that's a frustration as a group. But um, it's another point gained towards our ultimate goal of, of top six. Yeah, how important is, could that point prove to be? Yeah, it could be vital. Um, you know, we can't expect to rock up at at Motherwell and, and breeze in and win games. That's not the way it works. As I say, very, very close games. It has been against each other all season. But um, the boys showed character in response to the Kilmarnock one. Um, we've had a lot of people missing with international duty. You know, a lot of people arriving back just on a Friday. Elvis had travelled halfway around the world. Jonah, Gog had played two games. So, um, you know, I thought Ryan done okay for the first 45 minutes, nearly scores, and Elvis came on and done well in the second half, Nether could have completed a game, so when people are away and you don't have the chance to prepare as much as you want, I thought it was a good performance, I thought it was a, a really organised performance, back to what we are, it's hard to break down, and our only slant on it is um, the goal that we concede, which is very, very preventable. Yeah, how pleased was it, uh, how pleased were you to, to get Ryan Strain back out there for a bit? Yeah, look, you can see Ryan's quality with a free kick and some of his passes, um, he's still a long way to go to be ready to start games on a regular basis but um, as I say Elvis you know, wasn't ready to start the game and we had a corner a slight strain that you know when I've got the call they had Mark and Keanu on the bench we, we didn't want to take a risk from the start but um, hopefully we'll go into next week and um, with another fully fit squad to, to start and, and competition for places and we're in total control of what happens Last home game before the split next week against Hearts how big a game could that prove to be and how important will the fans be? Yeah, look, the fans were great again today. You know, we let them down at Kilmarnock with that 18-minute display. The boys have responded, the fans have responded, you know, they're together and with the players the whole way through, even when we lost the goal. Um, and we had chances to win it at the end, you know, ricocheting about. We should have got our shots off earlier on two or three occasions. Um, but next week, yeah, look, it's an occasion to go and be enjoyed. St Mirren with a chance of getting top six for two years in a row when it was such a long time before we got into the top six is a fantastic achievement from these boys and now we just need to go and seal it and relax and enjoy the occasion but you know play the way we can play we will play better than that um, but we were back to being disciplined and organised and hard to break down and as I say the only slant on the performance for me was the, the goal win it was very preventable Stephen thanks very much for your time